Hello, this is Mr. Tipton, and we are back today comparing constants of proportionality. We know how to uh, write equations and read equations, and we can find the constant of proportionality in tables and graphs. Today, we're going to look at comparing them, which basically we're going to say, which one's greater, which one's less. So here are four different equations that have constants of proportionality. And I just want to put them in order from least to greatest. Which one has the lowest constant of proportionality? That's going to be the one with the lowest value for k. We know that these equations are in the form y equals k times x. x and y are points on a graph, and k is the constant of proportionality. Well, which one of these has the lowest k value? Well, it's this one right here. That's the lowest. y is equal to negative 5x. That has the lowest constant of proportionality. Which one comes next? Well, the negative 2. Negatives are always less than positives. And then, of course, well, hopefully you know that 2 is less than 5. So here we go. Here we've written these four equations in order <clears throat> from, from the least constant of proportionality, the lowest, um, to the, the greatest constant of proportionality. No big deal. One thing I do want you to make sure you understand is that the greater a constant of proportionalities, I abbreviated it COP, the greater a COP's absolute value the steeper the line will be. Now we've already visited this year about absolute value, and you know that absolute value is a number's distance from zero. It doesn't matter whether it's positive or negative, but the further away that number is from zero, the steeper it's going to make the line. For example, let's graph these four lines. y equals 5x, y equals 3x, x, and half an x y equals 5x. That means whatever is done to x, or whenever x is multiplied by 5, we're going to get y. So if x is 1, and let me fill this in down here real quick. Remember our x's go horizontally and our y's go vertically. But if x is 1, and we did 5 times 1, we'd get 5 for y. So our black line, that'd be pretty steep. It's going to be horrible for me to draw a straight line here, but I'm going to try. Uh, not bad. Okay. If x was 2, then y would be 10. And it looks like I didn't go high enough on my, on my table. And straight line. Er, okay, that whole thing is supposed to be straight. Okay, pretend with me here for a minute. This is the line. This is the graph of y equals 5x. If I do 3x, if I say that x is 1, and I multiply it by 3, then I'm going to get 3. 1 times 3 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. And again, it'll be a struggle for me to draw a straight line, but you can see it's not as steep as the black line. y equals 5x. 5 is further away from 0 than 3, which means the black line is going to be steeper. y equals x. Remember, this has a constant of proportionality of 1. So if I plug 1 in for x, I get 1. I plug 2 in for x, I get 2, 3 for 3, and so on. Okay, oops, missed the point. And anyway, oh, come on, that was really bad. Anyway, it's supposed to be straight, 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 straight. Okay? That's less steep. Which one would you rather sled down? The blue one, the red one, or the black one? Well, that black one looks really steep. That might not be a good idea, but it 
the the idea is that it would be more fun all right um, then the green one half an X half of one is just half so that one's actually gonna be down here half of two would be one and so you can see we're going up by halves with the green line oops try it again uh, anyway less steep half is closer to zero than one than three than five the further a number is from zero the steeper its line is going to be all right let's look at this next thing here Maybe we have another graph I'll just ask a simple question which one is greater y equals 20x or y equals 5x well from what you know already that one's greater 20 is greater than 5 so it has the it shows the greater constant of proportionality but let's let's prove it let's prove it if I put 1 in for 20 I'm sorry if I put 1 in for x then 20 times 1 that means my y would be 20 2 would be 40 3 would be 60 and there's my straight line my proportional line if I did the green one 5 times 1 is 5 that's going to be halfway between the 0 and the 10 5 times 2 is 10 5 times 3 is 15 and so on and not as steep oh that line was terrible this is so difficult uh, yeah not bad right there all right so you can see uh, you know because 20 is greater than 5 it's greater and you can see it on the graph the steeper line has the greater constant of proportionality let's do a little uh, comparing here we have two graphs which to me it looks like the line is angled about the same okay it looks like it has about the same the same angle but what's different about these two graphs the y values are different the left one is going up 5 10 15 it's going up by fives whereas the one on the right is going up by twos so it's important that we don't just look at the lines and the dots on the graph but we also pay attention to our x and our y axis intervals what would be the the equations for these graphs well what is being done to x to get y in the left graph what do you do to 1 to get 5 what do you do to 2 to get 10 what do you do to 3 to get 15 you multiply by 5 how about the other one what do you do to 1 to get 2 what do you do to 2 to get 4 what do you do to 3 to get 6 all of these are being multiplied by 3 all right so we know that the one on the left is greater because 5 is more than 3 and also because our our y intervals are greater than the ones on the right and both our x intervals are the same so that's how you can compare two graphs let's look at comparing a graph to a table here we're being asked who earns more per hour we've got from got some information about Maggie and we have some information about John and how much they make okay looks like for Maggie um, the X value is time in hours so for eight hours she earns a hundred and four dollars nine hours seven hundred and seventeen dollars ten hours a hundred and thirty okay we are being asked who earns more per hour so we're gonna need a unit rate gonna need a unit rate I think this is gonna be the easiest one to figure out right here ten times what is 130 what do you do to X to get Y you multiply by 13 so 
this equation is y equals 13x and John's wages what do you do oops let me switch colors what do you do to x to get y what do you do to 1 to get 15 what do you do to 2 to get 30 what do you do to 3 to get 45 you multiply by 15 so here y equals 15 x so who earns more per hour John does John earns fifteen dollars per hour Maggie only earns thirteen dollars per hour All right, even though even though it's showing bigger money here for Maggie 104 117 130 it's also showing us that she's working more hours alright here we're only seeing John's John working uh, one two and three hours so it's less money but he is earning more per hour if John and Maggie both worked the same amount of time, John would get more money. All right. And that's it. Okay. Comparing constants of proportionality. Equations, tables, graphs. You can do it. If you have any questions, write them down. We'll talk about them. We'll talk about them tomorrow. See you soon.